Welcome back. Now, the South African National Roads Agency has withdrawn some of its preferential procurement policy. The policy, which was implemented earlier on this year, was challenged in court by the construction industry, and they claimed the policy increased requirements for companies to have a high, broad-based economic empowerment profile that's in order to be allocated tenders. Now, to discuss this even further, we're joined by Sanral, CEO of Reginald Dimana this afternoon. And thank you so much for your time, Reginald. Good afternoon to you. Um, is this the reason behind uh, the withdrawal of, uh, rather, this uh, procurement uh, policy? Is it due to the litigation and the court cases that Sandral was currently facing? Yeah, good afternoon to you and uh, the viewers. Uh, I think to give you some context, Sandral manages 23,559 kilometers of uh, roads in the country. That's 4% of South Africa's total uh, road network. But that 4% carries 40% of annual vehicle traffic. It carries 60% of freight and 70% of road freight. So clearly, uh, with those sort of uh, uh, numbers, you can see the economic importance of that network. And for it to be kept in good shape through continuous maintenance, expansions, we spend several billions every year in order to do that. We realize that with the litigation in, pro in progress right now, we might spend weeks and months in court, which will delay service delivery in the form of non-award of contracts to maintain and build roads. That is why we took a decision to withdraw the policy. Mm. With that being said, I mean, I understand that, and I stand to be corrected here, uh, with the withdrawal of the policy, does it mean that a number of Sunroll tenders obviously will be affected by this to the tune of 11 billion rand? Yes, um, uh, there are a number of tenders that are uh, currently open that have been advertised. Uh, those tenders will have to be cancelled and re-advertised. Uh, the numbers could be slightly high. However, we envisage that that delay will only really be probably about a month whilst we consult to put a new policy in place, the interim policy. From there, we'll go back to the uh, market with adverts. We had a similar uh, type of scenario last year where most of the awards we made were done towards the end of the calendar year and into the uh, last quarter of the financial year, where we did more than half of the 51 billion rand uh, awards uh, in the last financial year. We envisage that uh, it will be the same. We will have to work very hard in the last quarter of the financial year to build a pipeline for contracts that will then be on the ground um, in the second half of next year. So policy-wise then, in, in, in the interim, what's the measure that you have undertaken and as far as policy is concerned? So we have withdrawn this. Uh, the board took a resolution on Monday. Uh, that withdrawal uh, took uh, place yesterday formally. We communicated to those uh, who are in litigation with us. The cancellation will be taking place now. The interim policy that we have really seeks to uh, revert to a scorecard that was used before the current policy being withdrawn was there. So it is a scorecard that the industry and the sector are used to. It is subcontracting principles that the sector is used to. And that will hopefully become effective in about a month time. We are putting it up for consultation uh, for the next three weeks. We will then take the last week to consolidate and then put it into practice. We do hope that industry will come along and not uh, challenge this one because the criteria is what they've been used to for many years before. Yeah. Speaking of, of, of the preferential procurement policy that obviously the construction industry had challenged and now you have uh, withdrawn because you say you don't want to spend more time uh, with court cases, litigation, and you also seen that it might attract more litigation even in future that's delaying service delivery. These are the firm's arguments. They are arguing that the preferential procurement policy, Reginald, would significantly rather downgrade their broad-based black economic empowerment status and further leave them unable to to, you know, do business and conduct business with the state and its organs. What's your, what's your perspective on, on their arguments? Do you agree with them? Um, do you differ from their argument? Look, without necessarily getting into the, 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 the merits of um, uh, each other's side, uh, is that we, we have obviously tried to uh, 
uh, to deepen transformation by putting as part of our criteria a clear black ownership um, as one of the things that we want to measure over and above the B scorecard levels. We had also uh, included subcontracting, higher levels of subcontracting in there. Uh, again, we wanted to see uh, the economic pie being shared more with other uh, smaller contractors and SMEs in the pie. Clearly, there are uh, those uh, uh, contract, contract companies uh, that suggest that it is too aggressive. So they are clearly not agreeing with us in terms of the pace and scale in which we wanted to move transformation forward. We have to find a balance. We have to talk together in the next couple of weeks and months. We do hope that after this transition period, we will settle on to something that is more palatable uh, to everybody. However, we remain, uh, we remain very consistent on that. We need to see more transformation in the, tra in the construction sector. Transformation is a license to operate for Sandra. Without it, we risk roads and projects being disrupted and stopped, and we can't have that. Uh, we also have a responsibility to build an inclusive um, a society and economy so that we don't leave the masses of our people marginalized and behind. So before I let you go then, Reginald, in terms of uh, the tender processes, it means that they will start afresh, they will start anew. For the tenders that were advertised under uh, the policy being withdrawn, um, uh, regrettably that will have to be the case, we'll start afresh. But that doesn't mean um, uh, we start everything afresh because the documentation, the packages that have been put together, they've been assessed. It's really changing one or two things, um, uh, giving new numbers to tender documents and all of that, and then putting new adverts in the market. So a lot of preparation work will be saved because all of that work, all of those tenders were already uh, out in the market, uh, including for the con uh, construction companies. They wouldn't take a lot of time responding to that because it's really just tweaking uh, the elements of preferential scoring as well as submitting B valid, uh, valid B certificates. All right, we'll leave it there. And thank you so much, uh, Rachel, for uh, coming on to ENC and speaking me, to me rather about uh, this decision by the Sunrun Board to rather opt to withdraw its preferential procurement policy, saying that, of course, they didn't want to delay service delivery due to the mountain litigation court cases that the organization had faced. All right. Coming